In this problem, we need to calculate the cumulative probability distribution. There is a function in R that calculates cumulative probabilities. It's called the P binome function. Just like the D binome function, the P binome function has an X value, which is the number of successes. So N is the number of trials, in this case N is 5, and P is the probability of success on an individual trial, and in this case that's 52%. So this script as written will be finding the P binome of 0. The thing to observe here is that the P binome of 0 is exactly the same thing as the D binome of 0. Here we've run that script to verify that that's the case. But now when we change x to be 1, then p binome of 1 is the same as d binome of 1 plus d, my, d binome of 0. Here we've run that script to verify that that's the case. P and to further make the point, d binome of 2, p binome of 2, is the same as d binome of 2 plus d binome of 1 plus d binome of 0. P bin cumulates the p binome cumulates the uh, d binomes. So that means we could modify this script quite easily. Let's uh, save. Let's come up and change the x value. So let's modify the script so that x is now the vector containing all the values of x that we're interested in. Then p binome of x will calculate all of those cumulative values and we'll save those in a vector. And we should, could shout that out as a data frame. So let's run that script and see what we get. So there's the data frame. There's the x's, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There's the probability of getting zero successes. There's the probability of getting one or zero successes. There's the probability of getting two, one, or zero successes. And of course, the probability of getting five successes or less is going to be a probability of one. So once again, we see that when we use R, we can do enormous amounts of calculations very, very easily by just uh, creating this, the appropriate script. So there's the cumulative probability distribution.